so to zoom in you can go to file and then uh, you can go to settings we are talking about editor font let me increase it to 16 and then apply and then okay okay still it might not be uh, good enough uh, but we'll proceed so as we have uh, uh, um, set up the project with uh, uh, sbt all these things are taken care of automatically now you go here right click on it and then go to new and here we are talking about scala program so you can choose uh, scala class here and you can change it to object and then give the name of the object which is order revenue and hit enter and you can see the object here now i will just copy paste the code which we have seen earlier which is this one Okay, you can see the object name, main function and everything copied. And I'm saving it. Now I have to um, use uh, um, Windows path here. I have given uh, my Mac path earlier um, because I have developed in the Mac. Now I'm developing in Windows using IntelliJ. Hence I have to give the Windows path. Okay, so the way I can do is like this C colon retail underscore DB order items part hyphen okay, then dot get lines. Okay, so I may I need to make this change, and now this program takes uh, argument um, uh, uh, called order ID, where we can pass whatever order ID for which we want to compute the revenue. So we can actually go to just click on run order revenue. Okay, so that uh, um, when we go to run and click on edit configurations we see the application here otherwise we can just say click on plus button and then click on application give the main class give the name and all those things to autofill most of this stuff what we can do is we can just right click run order revenue it will fail because uh, there is no argument defined yet uh, runtime argument defined yet so it will fail but we um, we we can go back to run and uh, click on edit configuration and we can pass the argument now you can see that it is failed so you can go to run edit configurations and then pass the program argument as to apply okay and now i can say run order revenue I think here I have to use zero. Yeah, now it is working. So there is some deviation when we actually run using Scala 
command along with the jar file um, uh, versus using it as a um, jar file with SBT. So with Scala, the argument is taken as uh, this second argument. Uh, when we ran uh, using Scala yesterday, after compiling into jar file, as part of the last topic when we run uh, when we run this program we ran like this scala target okay and then we have to when we want to pass the program name we we have to pass it like this order revenue and then two and if you look at the code you can see it is actually saying arcs of one. So there is a bit of deviation uh, while running this program using Scala command versus commands such as SBT. So if the program, uh, if I want to run this program using SBT, using SBT also we can run uh, a jar file with arguments. So I can say SBT, run main order revenue two so you can see when i try to run it as sbt it failed but when i try to run it as scala it is successful. Now if I change the code, to zero, and if I run the same program using SBT run main, so if you want to run a particular main program um, in the SBT built project, which is in this location retail you have you can run using run main um, the class name and the arguments that it takes in the double quotes like this now you send you can see that it is running okay so you need to understand this the differences about running a jar file using scala and sbt we typically deploy using sbt we don't uh, deploy using scala Okay, so this is how you can um, uh, you, you can run your uh, program after setting up IntelliJ. And again, if you want to build using SBT and if you want to deploy the jar file, what you have to do is you have to right click on this copy path. Okay, go to command prompt CD and go to that location i just pasted the path and then i can say sbt package now it is actually building the project or the I'm building the application into the jar file. Now you can see that in target scala-2.10, uh, there is the jar file. Okay, so the same location you can access using Sigwin also. Sigwin is a bit better than uh, uh, regular command prompt by saying sig drive C users users it varsity idea projects so see uh, actual part starts with c column we just have to add sig drive before that and then 
scalar demo retail so this is the base directory of the project and then you can say sbt package here which will compile the jar file from the source code and you can finally run the same program using sbt by saying run main order revenue to and hit enter you can see the output so this is the complete life cycle of setting up intellij and also deploying a simple scala application